I need to call this man and talk some senses into his head. How can you borrow money from me since the last three months, and refuse to pay me back? Or does he think that I pluck money from trees? In fact, I should call him right away. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Don't hello me. In fact, there is nothing good about this morning, you this wicked man. How can you repay my goodness with evil? Is this how you repay people who do you good? Oh Mr. Frank. I'm very very sorry, don't be angry with me. I've not been able to pay you back your money as promised, because the government has yet to pay us our salary for the past three months. How does that concern me? My only concern is that you pay me back the money I lent you. Until then, don't let me set my eyes on you, because you won't believe what I will do to you, I swear. Mr. Frank, I am very... Please please please, I don't want to hear anything from you. Just pay me back my money between now and tomorrow. But Mr. Frank, get out of my phone, rubbish. I just pray that he doesn't pay me back my money by tomorrow. I will march down to his house, disgrace him, and show him hell. By then, he would realize that I am not the type to be taken for a joke. What an ungrateful somebody. Let me go and eat quickly, and prepare myself for work, as time is already against me. What? There is no single food in this kitchen? Does that mean this lazy woman has yet to prepare anything for me to eat for work? Gosh! She will hear from me today. Mummy Faith. Mummy Faith. Mummy Faith. Yes darling, I am coming. Get your ass here right now. What bloody nonsense. I'm calling you, and you have the gut to be telling me that you're coming shortly. Don't let me come and meet you there. But why is my husband angry unnecessarily this early morning? What has made him this upset? Let me quickly go and meet him before he goes out of control again. Here I am darling. Don't darling me this morning. First of all, where is my food? Oh God, I'm so sorry, I've yet to prepare your food. I will get it prepared right away. What nonsense. Prepare what food, at what time? You this lazy and useless woman. Wives of nowadays are just lazy bones and good for nothing. But darling, it has not gotten to this extent. Why are you using foul languages on your wife? What wife? A good for nothing wife? A wife who doesn't prepare his husband's breakfast? But you know very well that I've never made this mistake before. I woke up late because I could not sleep early as I was occupied with what you gave me to do, spending several hours on it. Shut up your dirty mouth. By this time of the day, you haven't prepared your husband's food, and you call yourself a wife? You must be joking. Wife my foot. Well, I have no excuse. I apologize for not waking up early to prepare food for you. However, if you don't mind, I can bring it for you at your workplace after I am done preparing it. I said you should shut your dirty mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Just get lost. What have I done to deserve this slap from you? What wrong have I done to you that you hit me so hard across the face? You had better keep your mouth shut before I give you another hot dirty slap that will reset your brain. If you like, don't get the food as soon as possible and bring it to me in my workplace. You will see what I will do to you if you don't bring it in the next one hour. Rubbish. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Frank. However, why are you just coming to work by this late hour? Well, I have no excuse, sir. You mean you have no excuse for coming late to work? Yes, sir. I don't understand. Does that mean you deliberately decide to come late for work today? As I said, I have no excuse. Wait, are you raising your voice at me, Mr. Frank? Will you just stop this sir for God's sake? I'm already angry before I came for work, and I've been trying to hold my anger in sight because I don't want to transfer my anger to anyone. And what's that supposed to mean? Can't I challenge your late coming for work as your boss? 
Please for God's sake, will you stop this never-ending drama? I'm already getting sick of this shit. This shit? I think you're very sick upstairs. In short, I think something is wrong with your brain. In fact, you're out of this job. Your services are no longer needed here. Why will you sack me sir? For what reason? Even though I came late for work, at least, I still showed up for work. You should have remained at home, and not come for work at all. Please please please, don't insult my person simply because I am working for you. Do you think I won't survive if you sack me? Or do you think I won't see somewhere else to work? What rubbish. Suit yourself Mr. Frank. When you're done, kindly get your ass off my office. In fact, get your ass off this vicinity, as you're no longer a recognized employee here. Employee my foot. You should count it as a privilege that someone like me is working for your company. Or do you know how many top companies that would be begging me to work for them? What nonsense. What does he take me for? Does he think I will go hungry or beg him if he sack me? A hole me? Over my dead body. He must really be joking. To hell with him and his small company. He would surely regret sacking me when he sees top companies begging me to work for them. I can't wait for that day to come. For the past three months, I've been searching for a job, but to no avail. What is going on? Those top companies I thought would be begging me to work for them, all act as if I don't exist. Worse, I am very hungry, and I have no food or money to sustain myself. For how long am I going to search for a job? How I wished my dear wife is here right now. However, I've hurt her so much that I can't bring myself before her. In fact, I even sent her packing to her parents' house because of my irrational anger. How did my life turn out like this? How am I going to face her after all the wrong I did to her? I'm truly ashamed of myself. Looking back, I lost everything precious to me because of my uncontrollable anger. Out of anger, I lost my friendship with my very good friend because of his inability to pay me back my money. Worse, I transferred my anger to my innocent wife, who stayed up all night patching my old clothes for me. And I lost my job, which serves as a means of financial sustenance for me and my innocent wife. Now, I am left with nothing. No friend. No wife. And no job. See what anger has done to me. Anger is a natural emotion for all of us, regardless of who we are, what we are, or our position. Yes, because people will step on our toes, do things that annoy us, drive us crazy, try to take advantage of us, betray us, lie to us, or try to mess up with us. And it's natural for us to become agitated over all of these, and attempt to respond based on our impulses or feelings. Despite the fact that a variety of events can make us feel angry, either internally or externally, the consequences of anger are more dangerous than its causes. These include damaged relationships, job loss, loss of credibility, divorce, breakup, irrational behavior, violence, self-harm, self-destruction, and many other negative outcomes. The issue is not with anger per se, rather, it is with how we let it govern, dominate, and influence us, especially in bad ways. However, to allow this upon ourselves is to invite unavoidable troubles, unnecessary heartaches, headaches, and needless misery, suffering, and pain. Anger, particularly negative one, is a tool the devil uses to get to us, in order to get rid of us, to make us act in a way that is contrary to, or inconsistent with who we really are, to hurt those closest to us, to bleed on those who have never hurt us, to channel aggression towards those who wish us the best and love us the most, and to drive away those who trust, depend, and rely on us the most. However, this is so as to bring us down to a state of isolation, loneliness, and aloneness, where we begin to reflect on our previous irrational decisions, behaviors, and actions, but this time, with a feeling of hopelessness, helplessness, and being unable to undo all the things we've done or said. Right then and there, regret sets in. As we reminisce back on our earlier aberrations, we start to swim in the ocean of regrets. If you're watching this right now, I want you to know that anger is a killer disease, and that if you constantly let it rule, influence, and control you negatively whenever you're being agitated, you might not get very far in life, especially in terms of relationships. In order to safeguard the people closest to us, like our friends and family, and the things that are important to us, like our careers, relationships and so on, you and I must begin right away to learn how to tame, control, 
and be a lord over our anger. We leave you with this then, anybody can get angry, that's easy, but to be angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power, and is not easy. Aristotle. More importantly, what is your take home from this video? What serves as an eye-opener for you? What do you like to contribute? Answer below in the comments box. Many thanks for watching. However, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the like button so this video can spread to more people. And also click at the bell, and turn on the notification. Remember, we love you.